welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who are new, my name is Vanessa Lennox. It's been a while since I filmed one of these fun videos, but I wanted to do something fun today with you guys. And I wanted to read my favorite poem book to you guys. And it is Two Fish by Janae Aiko. For those of you who don't know who she is, she is a musician. She's a songwriter. She's extremely talented and I am absolutely obsessed with her. So she made this poetry book. And I think it's cute because it has a few of her poems, it has um, some verses from her songs, a few of them, and um, some short stories. So I thought I would just read a few of my favorite poems to you guys from this book. So it's a cute little tiny book, it's short, and it's like this Tiffany blue in the inside, okay? So on the first page, it says, two fish. A poetry book and excuse my nails you guys I haven't got them done so I haven't had the chance to get them done obviously so it says two fish in the past she was angry in the future she was scared but alive in the moment is where she's aware I think that's a nice little poem there and here's one she says I loved you then the wind blew it is simple these are changes we are meant for their essential and then there's actually some handwritten notes that she has here or handwritten poems um she says like a child in the womb with no room to grow in the wind in the nude i'm confused and cold then you show me all the things that i could never see it's a doomed reality i can not believe what you've done to me i'm not having a good time you were supposed to get me high but you took me out my mind and then it says way down to the other side bad trip you guys, I do recommend buying this short little book if you like poems like myself. Um, here's another one that says, it was never love, it was not even close. It was closest to hopeless, it was hell at the most. It was mouths wide open and minds that were closed. It was dead, it was over, chopped liver, burnt toast. I think that one's cute. And then there's like a little photo here of the burnt toast. If you guys could hear background noise, you guys, I'm sorry, but it is my little boy, he's playing out there. And then here's another one here. It says, do you know what really sucks? When you swallow a pill and that pill gets stuck and you wait for the feels, but the feels won't come because the pain of the pill in your throat makes it numb. Focus on the pain, you miss the whole high. It says, you forget the whole feeling of wanting to die. Cause now you're like, please pill, please pass by. And you sob and you cry, then it all gets worse. Now you're high and you're crying and your throat really hurts. So, she does really, really go into depth here. And um, I mean, she's very open about the struggles and everything that she's been through. Uh, and there's like a lot of handwritten notes here, you guys, that I choose not to read because a lot of it is difficult to understand. It's not legible. So here's another one. This is one of my favorites. It says, the wave was afraid for a moment. There were when the momentum forced her in the air, she was scared, fearing that this may just be the end. But then the wind, a friend, showed her the way, told her she'd carry her throughout the night till day, through beautiful canyons, past forests and streets, past mountains and canyons and valleys and peaks. As they passed the cove and rose to new heights, the wave could then see, and much to her delight, she need not worry of returning to sea because life was everlasting and she was free. That one's a cute one. This is a super long one. I don't know if I'm going to read it, but I will. And there's like little, it's cute. She has like little um, pictures here. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? You have everything you need to do anything you want. And what do you do? Nothing. <laughs> That's what she has here, you guys. Okay. So. Where is, there's another one that's my favorite. I can't find it here. Oh, I like this one. It was written in the stars. It was written in the scars on her arm. In her palms where she wept. In her bed where she slept. Or hardly slept at all. What a doll. With her skin made of plastic and tears made of acid, she could not hide the tragic damage of sadness that burned through her pores and straight to her core where she learned to keep quiet and not cry anymore. I like this one. There's another one here. This is a short one. It says, no wonder the mind begins to wander. Time is running over as I'm going under. I'm getting older but cooler. Can you please share my stories when I'm gone? That's cute. Let's 
see. I like this one too. I think I like all of them. So this one says, crazy how I can stare into empty space and see his smile, I see his face. Crystal clear as day, I close my eyes and hear his voice. I hear him say my name and we start to talk and I have to ask, been wondering, how do you feel? I say, I'm afraid that I will forget you. And he says, I'm afraid you never will. Whoever said fool's rush in was wrong. The dumb thing to do is to wait too long. Because the laters and eventuallys aren't promised to come, all we ever really have is this moment, just one. And moment to moment, it's new and it's young and waiting is death to what could have begun. And then, let's see. Um, uh, here's another one. What is it? So these are short. Hmm. I like this one. So this one says, it was so real. I was physically shaking, the vibrations were waking like waves when they're breaking. I embody the sure, I embody the sure. I was body the pure, I embody but more. And then she says, I am all, I was small, but my energy was tall. Too bright to call or name, it is a thing too expensive, too massive, a mass never seen. So I cut myself open as ego bled out and ego stretched wings and the heavens sing loud. With the earth ripping open, I was shot through its womb, past my past, past my future, past demons and gloom. Past the fire they teach us, past the devil himself, I shot right past Satan, speeding bullet to hell. But the speed was so brilliant, I did not stop just there. I went way down to realms that no one knew was there. It was carefully guarded by the darkest disguise, by a darkness so pretty and a silence so nice. Heard my grampy call, Penny, and my brother laughed twice, but I couldn't see any, there were no it's to cry. Knew I must have been home, there was no sense of self and the air was so calm, there were no thoughts to dwell, and my senses so strong with no judge to condemn me. An alleation of self, I was gone, I was empty. I was free, I was all, there was no cause for pity. And my eyes were his eyes, and her eyes so many, and to put it simply, I found heaven within thee, depths of death of the myth that I am me. So she does go into depth here. Um, her brother passed away um, a couple years ago, so she writes a lot about him in here. Um, let's see, and there's a few more. Let's see, I think this is cute. And then she has like, um, some drawings here and she does have a tattoo I don't know for those of you who know where she is she does have one of these tattoos on her arm and it says I shouted to the stars but there were no answers I called out to God you were there I'm telling you guys this is a cute book if you have nothing to do I think this is really good just to kind of read and chill maybe with some wine um, she says if you say it's love but do not feel free if you can't be the thing you claim it to be Here's another one. It says, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not what you're used to. I can't hide my flaws. I don't choose to. I am not in your box of what's in or what's hot. Does me being me confuse you? I'm sorry you don't think I'm beautiful. I'm sorry your mom did not hug you and your dad did not teach you to love you. But there are reasons and ways to overcome hate. And the first step would be to choose to. And she leaves it like that. <laughs> yeah. And she has a few more um, handwritten notes there. Let's see, what other one do I like? Uh -huh -huh. This one's long. She has more thing here. Oh, I like this one too. She says, last summer, we were dying together. Why did I stay? Why did you go? My big brother, has it really been that long since we shared our ideas and sang our favorite songs? This is the one for her brother. And then she says, how do you feel now? Where did you go? Was it really necessary that I lose you in order to grow? Well, what about our plans and who's going to make me laugh? I wasted so many days looking for what I already had. Now I'm searching for a brother's love and every single man 
I don't want to leave you, rather it'd be me than you, in that bed, tube in the head, staring at the corner of the room. The same room we grew up in playing Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter. I always got the two confused. You would let me play and I claim I was winning, but the controller wouldn't, wouldn't be connected, I figured out one day. There used to be two doors in that room, one led to the front of the house, the other to the kitchen. Our younger cousin will never know about that second door. We always said that Grandma Essie's house was a special place and you got to spend your last days there. You were one lucky one. I always left you alone. We should have been together more often when it was just the two of us downstairs. But we had our own friends and I was always with my boyfriend, but you were always my best friend. It says, I thought we'd had more time. I thought that it would turn around. I miss you most days. Some days I feel more, more close to you than ever. But the summer isn't the summer without my brother. I have recently noticed that when she's alone, it's more likely that she's at her best. She shines in the darkness, a reclusive artist, but she is a star nonetheless. She is sensitive to spotlights and sensitive to judgments, sensitive to opinions of what she does or doesn't. She cannot dance or sing like no one is watching when she knows in fact that they are. They would never see her potential to be. Nonetheless, she was still a star. Shining brightest on the night shift, no one there to compare. Praise nor blame can affect her when no one else is there. She is scared. In a room full of people who don't treat her like an eagle, she can hear their thoughts. She is caught. They are see-through and evil, so she waits to be great when she gets off the stage and the night turns to day and brings solitude. No one in the way, no one there to say what she did that was right or didn't do. I love her. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Here's a photo that she drew of herself. Doesn't this look like her? She's so cute. Um, let's see. I am sorry I'm so strange. It's how I was made. I can't change, this is my way. To follow my way, go crazy till you get the same. Have fun without me. Don't miss me when I'm gone. Rejoice in my absence and sing happy songs. Please burn my body and take it to sea. They have a boat party and have fun without me. Don't hold on to memories. Do not reminisce. Don't regret what you didn't say. Do not hope. Do not wish. Spread my ashes near South Point on the green sandy beach. Celebrate my freedom and have fun without me. That one's deep. And she has like um, a boat there. Here's another one. I have been going through withdrawals, making more withdrawals and deposits, buying winter coats for the skeletons in my closet. <laughs> I like that one. So yeah, you guys, I mean, I just read a few of my favorite poems. There's tons in here. Um, but if you do enjoy poems and you love Janae Aiko, I definitely recommend for you to buy this book. Um, what else do we have in here? He was all of the good things I thought I deserved, some type of the test from the gods. He wasn't willing and I wasn't ready, but we were in love with the odds. That's a short one. I'm just like, there's some there with super tiny content. I don't know if I'm able to read that, but we're not gonna try. Let's see what else we have. But I guess that's it, you guys. Those are like one of my favorites or a few of my favorites, I'd say. Um, she has more and then there's more like handwritten content in here. But anyway, you guys, I think it's a cute book. You know, if you're into poetry, I definitely recommend it. Um, but yeah, so that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching my video and thank you so much for allowing me to read to you guys. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. Hit the like buttons if you enjoyed and um, I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.